Hey everyone, this is your weekly plea update. Uh, we'll start off with some staffing numbers first. Total sworn departments sitting at 2583. Uh, total patrol staffing this week's at 937. Uh, for 2022, as we know now, uh, 158 retirements, 92 resignations, and compare that to last year where we saw 173 retirements and 102 resignations. So we're still about 25 less than what we had last year, so that's positive. Uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the patrol staffing survey, uh, we closed it this week. It was open for about a week and a half. And I got to tell you, uh, thank you to each and every one of you that took part in that. 972 members uh, took the time to participate in that. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, some important takeaways that I saw uh, was, by and large, the group that participated the most was the zero to five year members. Um, which indicates to me that they are really paying attention, you guys are paying attention to what the state of the department is going to be long term uh, as you have the vested, uh, vested interest in that. Uh, by and large, uh, of the 972 folks that took the, the survey, 778 of you, or 81%, said that the four tens with three consecutive end days, the current model, was your choice of shifts. Um, so. Uh, we're going to present this to the chief next Wednesday. We have a meeting with him. I want him to see it firsthand from us uh, what the membership is saying uh, to include the comments. I mean, there's a lot of good comments. Uh, a lot of frustration was uh, displayed, and, and it's understandable with the state of this department. So I want him to see that. And another interesting point I saw was that 95% of you answered that you would work supplemental overtime if the overtime rate was changed from time and a half to double time. So that's a conversation to have with the city management, which we'll have at a uh, future, future time. So uh, we'll keep you updated on uh, what happens with those, those meetings. Uh, I think John's got a couple things, and then uh, you can take it from here for now. Yeah. I just want to first off say thank you to all the officers that participated in the Shop with the Copy event last Thursday. Um, without you, we couldn't make this event possible. Um, being out there with those kids and um, that was an amazing changing. event. I mean, you guys just really stepped up. Yeah. 180 kids that benefited from that. It was amazing. And, and to John and the folks that helped plan this, this wasn't a, a, an easy undertaking. It was uh, about a year in, in the planning, uh, and John really took the bull by the horns with that and, and did an outstanding job. So we appreciate his effort and everyone else who was participating in the uh, committee. So thank you for that. Yeah. Um, the largest one we've ever done. So we'll continue this thing again next year. Um, the other thing is, is the red dots are still available um, through TAC Hub. You can buy them here and have them ordered in. Um, a lot of people have already taken advantage of that. And then also purchasing the uh, raised iron sights, you can do that as well. So we can do that here in the office. Yeah, and I have it, uh, pretty good information <coughs> that they're going to start, the firearms detail is going to start uh, kind of doing uh, precinct by precinct mm -hmm. um, every month. So one month it'll be yeah. one precinct and then they'll move to the next to get as many as they can through. Um, and the hard part is, is the class is, is such a small number because right. they have to have so many instructors per uh, student. So right. it's, it's hard getting scheduling through. A lot, some people have called and said, hey, I can't get into the red dot class. You just have to be patient and, and, and wait for your slot to open up. It's a pretty cool class, though. The firearms mm -hmm. detail does a very good job at uh, putting it on and uh, teaching how the system works. So it's pretty amazing. Anything else? No. Okay. Uh, so the Arizona Heart Foundation appointments, uh, as of today, the appointments are completely filled. Uh, so uh, it's great news that uh, more than 900 of us took advantage of those appointments. Uh, there will be discussions after the first of the year with the Heart Foundation about the next set of appointments. So if you didn't get in this time, don't fret. Um, we're gonna continue on with this partnership and these appointments until everyone within the department that wants to have the scan gets the scan. So um, we'll put that out uh, in future uh, emails and let you know when the new appointments are on online to sign up for. So, And be patient with your results. They're trying to get them out to everybody. They'll come through as, as an email and then uh, you can discuss that with your primary care further. Yep. So good deal. All right. As a reminder, if you have a life event uh, change in your your life situations, I guess is the easiest way to say it. Beneficiaries. Make sure, 
What's that? Beneficiaries, oh, yeah. marriage. So, so if your beneficiaries change, your address changes, uh, make sure you let us know. We're not connected to eChris, so unless you tell us, we don't know. Um, so make sure you let us know. Even an email to the office at AZ Plea uh, works so we can get that updated. Uh, I think that's all we have. So uh, if you have any questions, give us a call here at the plea office, 602-246-7869. Uh, in the meantime, be safe. Don't advise on calls if you're in patrol, and we'll see you next time.